DE Season is a map that has very long rotations for the counter terrorists and very quick access points for the terrorists to work with, being the ventilation shaft as well as the doorway at upper A. Middle control is very important for both sides as middle is the main area of contention in this map. The terrorists are able to access middle through three different contention zones, the door, the T-stairs, and the ventilation shaft. If the terrorists are able to execute a middle strategy using all three openings, they're able to take control of middle and execute a strat where the CTs have very long rotations. The map is very wide in the sense that the counter terrorists to rotate from upper A all the way to B, they have to run all this way just to get to the other site. And if the bomb's planted, this could mean the difference of 30 seconds left to defuse the bomb and 20 seconds left to defuse the bomb. Or to put in perspective, 15 seconds or five. That means that the counter terrorists want to keep middle control as much as they can. If they're able to hold on to middle control, then the rotations are effectively split in two. You don't have to travel all the way through a site to get to B, you're already in the middle of the map. And vice versa, you don't have to travel all the way through B site to get to A, you're already in the middle of the map. Doing retakes on A is a lot easier than doing a retake on B, as well as if you're pushed up middle, you're able to hear an A rush. Middle control is equally as important on terrorist side because it allows you to do splits on A site through catwalk, on A site through middle, as well as B site through jail, and B site through CT spawn. If the terrorists are able to control middle, then they will receive much less contention by the counter terrorists because the CTs are being forced to play inside of the site. If the counter terrorists are forced to play in upper A together and the terrorist team attacks B, the counter terrorists are going to take a really long time to rotate. So the terrorists can exploit this by maintaining control of middle and shutting the counter terrorists out of it, forcing them into long rotations. The terrorists should also use the ventilation shaft as well as the door that connects upper A hallway with cat to sell fakes. If the terrorist team is able to sell a proper fake using the door and using the ventilation shaft by doing quick action at B or A side of the map and then quickly shifting through, then the counter terrorists are going to rotate the long and safe way through counter terrorist spawn, which is going to kill time. And as they're rotating over, the terrorists are already two times quicker ahead, hitting the other side really quickly and the counter-terrorists will not have enough people to react or respond to the threat. For the counter-terrorists on DE Season, it is important to maintain middle control. This is done by having a player come into middle who is able to spot for a fast kitty execution, a rush through T stairs effectively, and he's going to throw a grenade and a flashbang or a smoke grenade just to make sure that no terrorists are able to quickly execute out of middle before his teammates are able to get set up at other places around the map. For strong middle control setup, it is often seen that another counter terrorist player will walk ar around this long wall close by the ventilation shaft where he can get pushed up into an aggressive position at middle where he can flash push into T stairs or he can get into the ventilation shaft and shut down that entire rotation spot for the terrorists. It is also commonly seen that players will push catwalk and be able to get a good view down into the T stairway where they can throw grenades, flashes, and push it, or clear it out and then rotate over and shift to another location on the map. Being pushed up on cat also allows for you to listen for an upper A rush by gauging the sound through this wall where the terrorists have to run through this tunnel. Also you're able to throw a smoke that lands 
and blocks off from T-spawn, it will block off anyone from these stairs from being able to see you where you can get into the door and clear out up array this way or you can just use it as a fake and not do anything with it and have the terrorists waste their grenades and flashbangs and slow down their execution so that when they actually execute they're not going to be able to execute with as much power as they should be able to. At A side of the map the counter terrorists will always want to play together, whether it be two pushed up on the parade or two playing catwalk together. You never want to split up because if the terrorists are able to kill one of you and you're split up, then you effectively forfeit all of the map control at A side of the map. Playing together doesn't mean that you're standing side by side holding each other's hands though. A good setup is to have one person up close where you can listen and push when he's ready and having another person play further back where he can sp spot people coming out and do a flash or a pop flash for his teammate to turn the corner and make sure that up close is clean. You can take turns throwing the flashes in and peeking and then swap sp spots so the person with flashes is now the flasher and the person without is now up close. And you do this until the round time is over or your teammates are calling for a rotation towards the B side of the map. Other good strategies to do at upper A together are walk pushing, but also implement a smoke grenade to block off any terrorists from executing, and if they run through this gray screen, they're going to get shut down completely. Over at catwalk, if you're going to play catwalk together, it is only good to do so if you're playing aggressively. If you want to play passively behind this box, you will get spammed most likely. If you want to be playing passive in pit, this is basically you relying on your aim. If you play closer up by the bucket, you're in a position to go for an aggressive pit and then fall back. If the two of you are playing cat together, it is always good to have one person dodging flashes and able to counter flash, while the other person is up in a good position where you can kill anyone coming through the door and if he is to get flashed, he can fall back, whereas he can come out and save him before he dies. Once you are seen or spotted on catwalk, you need to get out of there instantly. Over at B, it is always good to have two people come here at the start of the round to make sure that if there is a rush, you can stop it. One player is going to come lower and use whatever grenades he feels like using not all of them, but maybe a grenade and a flash, or you can go depending on sound, whatever you hear. If you hear a rush, you want to drop everything you have. If you hear just one person or nobody, you might want to just save your nade and throw a flash and then come down and peek it. You want to make sure that this whole choke point is under control, because if you are able to limit the terrorist to this choke point, then they cannot execute out of lower and upper together, but rather they are forced to come through this 4x4 choke point. When this lower player is throwing grenades off this back wall to block any rushes or any lone soldiers coming in to the B bomb site, his teammates getting pushed up into an aggressive position at upper T side where he can shut down this rotation spot, sorry, this contention spot by throwing a smoke grenade which will block the terrorist view, but this player is able to see through this. Usually the lower player will throw the smoke and then rotate out, allowing the upper T side player to keep his smoke grenade and he can use it when this first one fades away and effectively buys you 40 seconds of cover. The other player is going to rotate out towards the vents where he can play in a various amount of various spots to make sure that nobody comes through the vents and he is able to quick rotate back into B site if his teammate calls for it or he can help middle by shutting down a mid to B or a mid to A and quick flank on catwalk. Players also in this position rotating towards the A site are able to use sky flashes which will disable any terrorists who are playing in the site after they have the bomb planted. The middle player usually has an op where they can control any long range action at middle. 
while also being able to rotate into city spawn or gateway or whatever you want to call it and look over to catwalk and up array to control this from long range as well. The opera can also make himself, himself useful by coming over the B side if the terrorists are executing here and pick down this long range area here or from upper CT side into lower and also into T side of upper. On Terra's side, a strong default will require two players to come to the team middle stairs area, one player coming around to the ventilation shaft, and two players coming in upper A hallways who are going to first come to the door together and make sure that they're able to take middle control. Once the players are set up at the doorway and at the vents, the middle players who are initially here to gauge CT aggression as well as see how many grenades are being used at the beginning of each round for information for the strat caller and they're going to get their teammates out of the doorway by flashing catwalk like this and flashing their teammate out vent like this. This first flash is going to disable any players who's up close on the catwalk for the door players to come out the door and make sure that bucket area is clean as well as to spam this box and get over to middle to help anyone who's up any counter terrorist threat who's up close. The vent player is going to wait for the flashbang to go off and then he's going to come out and peek no wider than this where he can clear any threats who are in the mid grass area. If he peeks out any further than this, he risks getting shot by anybody who's opping from CT connector. His teammates are going to come out and make sure that this area is either disabled by a smoke grenade or they're going to have an opera come and clear it from an angle where the opera is going to be ready for a vent guy peeking, not a middle guy peeking him. Once left side middle is smoked off and the terrorists maintain full control of it, you're able to split off into a plethora of different executions. A strong execution on A site would be to have one of the players that came through the doorway to go back into upper A for delayed execution. Three players are going to execute up kitty and one person is going to be holding the flank while throwing grenades and flashes into A site from the vent area. The way this works is that a smoke is going to be thrown to CT spawn gateway. Another smoke is going to be thrown into upper A CT side. Three players are going to come up catwalk. This is one of the door players and two of the T stairs players. And with the smokes up, they're going to have enough cover to have a proper execution on the site with flashbangs. The flashbangs are going to be thrown by the vent player, which are going to disable anyone in the site. One of the players who are coming kitty are going to throw a flash for upper A horseshoe, and they're going to execute while flashes are going off over the site and make sure everything is clear. The player who's coming up array is going to delay for the flashes and the catwalk players to execute and he's going to walk ex walk explode on upper after the t counter terrorist attention is focused on the cat players. The way the strat works to go B is that players are going to rotate back safely through spawn to B side while the other th two or three players are going to do an execution through jail side where they're able to split on B site and get a flank off where any counter terrorists playing inside of the site are going to get sandwiched and any players who are on T side are going to have to push and any counter terrorists who are playing spawn side are going to give up control of the site. A smoke grenade or flashes to push into CC spawn will guarantee terrorists the most amount of success in a retake, but they also have to make sure that if their teammates die with the bomb pushing into the blue room and lobby area, that the terrorists coming from jail have to come and help kill the counter-terrorist threat over at the side of the map. This default works as an A execution and a B execution, where you can also do fakes at A and fakes over at B. The way you do a fake over at A side is by just having two players commit to this with the smokes and flashes and have the terrorists rotating to B immediately 
two players are going to rotate through spawn, while one player is going to sit over at the ventilation shaft, throwing smokes and flashes over the wall before rotating through the vents to meet up with his other two players at B. The two terrorists are then going to safely commit to a fake where they're able to kill a bunch of counter terrorists, pull the rotate, and then rotate back if they need to. It is always better to stay alive and rotate over to clutch in a, in a fake strat than it is to just run in and suicide if you're pulling the counter terrorist rotation.